Well, here we are, a couple dozen videos into a course on Full Stack React, and somehow we have avoided working with React at all this entire time. We haven't touched a lick of React. It's all been stuff on our server backend. In this section, we're going to start to pivot away from the, from the backend server a little bit, and we're going to start to focus on some of the front-end elements of our application. Now, before we touch a lick of code, before we do anything with the client-side configuration at all, I want to take just a quick pause and set some expectations, all right? So I want to give you a really good idea of what we're going to be doing in these coming sections, because it's very important that you understand some kind of like how I designed this course to really work, okay? So when we start to install the client side of our application, the configuration that I have picked or the kind of architecture we're going to use is something that is pretty darn common, and I would say relatively straightforward to set up and get working and exceptionally easy to deploy. So we're gonna have a pretty easy time setting everything up, we're gonna have an easy time deploying it, and we're gonna get a lot of awesome features out of the box with React, like automatic reloading, linting, really good error reporting, all this kind of, all the stuff that you really wanna have when you are writing React applications. And we're going to have a really easy time setting all of it up. On the flip side, so this is, this is why I want to specifically take time to tell you about this. It's really important that you understand it. Doing the setup will be very easy, but understanding what is going on behind the scenes and understanding how our server is going to work together with the client is very complicated and very hard. I'm gonna tell you that right now, okay? And the reason I'm telling you this is that when we do the setup, it's going to fly by and you're gonna think, wow, this is great, really straightforward but we are going to also dive into some of the stuff behind the scenes to really understand how everything is working together. And at that point in time, you might say to me, you are crazy, why did we pick this server architecture? Why are we writing our application like this? Why is this so complicated? So I wanna be super clear here, it's going to seem hard because we're going to try to figure out what is going on behind the scenes. You don't have to understand what's going on behind the scenes, and if you don't care about that, you can just do the setup and be totally happy and say, wow, that was easy, everything's really fantastic, everything's working out just fine. So the reason we're going through all this behind the scenes stuff is that this is a course that is designed to teach you what is going on behind the scenes. Of course, we could just easily do the client side setup and call it a day and you know build the app and walk away. But you know, again, that's not why you're here taking this course. We're doing this course because you wanna figure out how stuff is really working. Okay. So just you know, one more time, I gotta tell you, it will seem confusing. It's just confusing because we are going behind the scenes to figure this stuff out. The actual real setup is very simple and very straightforward, okay? All right, so enough of that. I don't wanna scare you away, of course. Maybe I already did, but you know, whatever. So let's figure out how we're going to be doing the front end application. In this section, we're going to look at a little documentation. We're going to install a module and then generate a brand new React project. So in my browser, I'm gonna open up a brand new tab and I'm going to do a Google search for create React, create React app. So create React app, we should see a nice link pop up on GitHub towards the top. And this is all the documentation about a very popular tool for building React applications called, as you might guess, Create React App. So we're going to install this tool as an NPM module and then use it to generate a brand new React project. Now, the reason I show you this documentation page is that you can look around on here and they've got some really just great, great, great documentation on how to work with this starter package, all the different commands that are available, and this great user guide right here that will answer a lot of many common questions that you might have. So for example, if you wanna use SAS or less in your project, hey, here's a link on how to do it right here. You wanna use images, fonts, files, right here. Global variables, flow type checking, all this different stuff, they have fantastic guides on here to help you along, okay? So let's get to it. We're going to flip on over to our terminal install create react app as a global npm module and then use it to generate our project so i'm going to change on over to my terminal i'm still inside my server directory right now i'm going to install create react app as a global module by running the command sudo npm install dash g create react app now quick note if you are on windows you do not need to add on sudo here if you're on windows 
no sudo. So go back and delete that. If you are on Windows, I want you to make sure that your terminal is currently running with administrative privileges. If it's not, you're going to see a message that says like, you don't have permission to do this. So if you see that message and you're on Windows, make sure you reopen your command prompt or whatever you're using with admin privileges. Okay, so we'll install this. I get prompted for my password. And then it goes ahead and does the installation. Now, installing Create React App will only take a second or two because it's just kind of a shell of a program that is used to generate a new project. Now, the actual project that is generated is quite small and co quite compact, but when we generate the project, it also pulls in a ton of dependencies. So that's what takes a lot of time. Generating the project is what takes a lot, long time. Installing this tool does not. Okay, so we've now got the tool installed. We will use it to generate a new project inside of our server directory. Okay, this is really, really important right now. I wanna make sure that you are inside of your server directory when you're inside the server directory, and you should be able to see you know, all the files we've been working on, we're going to run a command to generate our new React project. So I'm going to say create React app, and then the name of our project, which we're going to call client. And again, very important that you call this thing client. Okay? So make sure you are in your server directory, you run this command, and you call the thing client. So we'll hit enter, we'll let it do its thing, and it's going to run off and start to install a whole bunch of different packages. So this is going to take a couple of minutes, just like this message right here says. So let's take a quick break. We'll let it do its thing. We'll come back in the next section. We'll look at some of what we get for free out of the starter package. And then we'll start talking about how we're going to set up our application. So I'll see you in just a second.